Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Ole Miss has been hitting on all cylinders the last few games. They've ripped off a string of W's, trying to extend that streak. But the key is keeping Big Mo on your side. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. SEC football. This is a rivalry, folks. We should see one heck of a contest today. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 31. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Swings it out there incomplete. Turner was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 31. Tackle around the 33 yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. thought the defense had a chance to get their hands on it, but the ball went out of bounds first. That's got to be disappointing. First and ten. Ball on the 44. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. The cavalry's coming. Got a receiver and he dropped it. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Outside after a nice pickup. And he tackles him hard at the 39 yard line. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. Quick throw, and he's tackled around the 31-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Here's a handoff, left side. 
And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. the 25 nothing doing that time defender stayed home the blocking wasn't there and down he went and once again they'll come to the line try to convert on third down kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. This is the 12th play of this drive. Pitches back. Touchdown, Mississippi. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. He makes the PAT. So an 11 play, 57 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Ole Miss is lining up to kick this one off. And he'll return this one from the seven. And he shoved out of bounds around the 36-yard line. LSU's offense really centered around this quarterback. And as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film. And one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback, as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. And they make the stop right around midfield. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Nice run up the middle. That's a game of six on the ball. That'll make it second and four. Bring him down at the 36. Rust is the kind of guy that That's could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. From the 36 yard line, first down. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And he's tackled right away. Stewart on the tackle at the 27 yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Check four, check four. Choose the mic, watch the mic, watch the set. Right 80, right 80. Makes it to the 17. That's a deal of 10 on the First down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Right, 
Takes it up the middle for a nice run. I think you got to give credit to the big boys up front there. They're able to get this back the room that he needed. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The footballs fly all over the lot in the Big 12. And for Texas Tech, they've dropped two straight. SMU gets the W, 31-21. Meanwhile, Pistol Pete has the guns a-blazing as Oklahoma State takes the field in Stillwater. And for TCU, they try to become bowl eligible. TCU has the edge, 10-7. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at seven in this one. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. And he's taken down at about the 41. We've played one. We get a tie game at 7-7. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. And he just gets rid of it. From the 41-yard line. It's second down. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. tell you to go for the pick. You've got to make the best play you can, and sometimes it's just batting the ball away. Second and ten. Ball on the 31. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. out to about the 21 yard line pick up of a yard for the tailback that makes it fourth and inches it's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it tackled after decent pickup with a first and goal. And 
down he goes at the three yard line. That brings him second and goal. Touchdown, Rebels! And he converts the extra point. Set to kick this one away. Mitchell from the six. He's out to the 30. And he's tackled at the 32. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over in our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And now he's got room to run. Brought oh, down at the 42-yard line. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Hands it to the back. Yes, Runs it right. Ball. Nice pickup. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. Time right, time right. Four down, four down. No Mike 52, Mike 52. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of seven on the play. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 44. Takes the ball right. He makes his way to about the 32. First down. Him hard at the 22. Number three brings him down at the 22 yard line. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Got a man, watch out here. Tackle around the 16 yard line. Hale picks up six yards with that grab. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Touchdown, Tigers! That is great, tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he hits the PAT. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Time to check out what's going on in Stillwater. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. The Horned Frogs hammer that running game and score a touchdown. The Horned Frogs are on top, 17-14. All tied up at 14 in our game race. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 27. Both these defensive coordinators have got to be going crazy right now. We've had four straight possessions in which these offenses have put points on the board. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Yeah. 
They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. A four-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. He's hit and taken down. Once and all, going deep. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Well, that's a big-time play by the defense here to knock that football away to set up a pivotal fourth down. Lawrence is the putter. Tackle at the 47-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Number 33, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 18-yard line. Let's go! Quick out to his receiver. Big play, and it's first and goal. 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That brings up second and goal. From the one-yard line, second down. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. We've played a half of football here. The Tigers with a three-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He 
He's tackled at the 33-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. LSU holds a field goal lead. First down, Grant. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 49. Nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. complete and he's hit hard behind the line and they'll lose a yard there pretty good stand there they weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call third down now and they need to get it inside the 41 they'll bring him down at the 43 Browning is going to try to kick this one deep. Let's see if he can get it inside the five. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They make the stop right around the 26-yard line. Bell gains around three yards on the option play. Nice run there. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. Well, that's a strong run. It makes a statement when you can run the ball like that. run up the gut. That's a D of six on the ball. That brings him second and five. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. The pass falls incomplete. Robinson's the intended receiver on the play. Third and five situation. Ball on their own 39. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Mitchell is back deep to return the punt. And he's taken down at the 33. We're about set to start things up again. LSU is up by three. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's at midfield. Caught. Very good tackle in space. Call it a gain of 14 yards. First down. Makes it out to about the 47-yard line. That makes it second and ten. 
Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Taken down at the 29. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 29 yard line. Goes left and tackled in a hurry. He's got room out of bounds at the 23 yard line. Third down. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. LSU has a three point lead. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it first and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They bring him down in the backfield. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 17. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 17-14, Tigers. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. And he is drilled at the seventh. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. My 52, my 52. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Oklahoma State in the house T. Boone built. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Oklahoma State, they strike through the air and score a touchdown. TCU has the edge, 27-21. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live Number action six, here. Muckley gets set to kick this one away. From the 8-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Steps up. Quick throw. Almost intercepted. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. catch there before he stepped out of bounds that one goes for good yardage and a first down yeah that's just a nice gain on second down pulls down the catch and he's got room here he's tackled around the 41 yard line
Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's level at the 35-yard line. He's at the 20. He's knocked out of bounds at the 19-yard line. It's the tailback inside the 10. Touchdown, Mississippi. Just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 71-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. Now, that could be demoralizing for the defense. Mitchell takes it at the eight, and down he goes at the 38. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. LSU is up a field goal. Knocked out of bounds at the 47. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. First and ten, ball on the 49-yard line. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. to the tailback makes it to the 34 what a critical first down as time ticks away huge huge first down the defense desperately needed a stop there first and 10 ball on the 34 yard line just under two minutes in the game takes the ball right makes it to the 21 you know, the defense knew that this offense was trying to work the clock. When you want to work the clock, you're going to run the football. It puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line to get low and drive that defensive line back. And that's what they were able to do there to give the running back enough room to pick up that first down. And down he goes around the 12-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. The Rebels, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Brought down at about the five yard line. That brings him second and goal. 
Second down, goal to go. Ball on the five-yard line. Tackle at the five-yard line. This is the tenth play of this drive. This one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 24-21, Tiger. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.